welcome back to my channel I know it's been a long time since I've done like an actual sit down talk to you kind of video lots been going on you know I've been focusing on school and my relationship and just to let everyone know like had a great time since I've been away as you can tell by the title of this video I just got my wisdom teeth out you can probably tell by the swollenness in my cheeks. Um, this is actually <clears throat> day four since I've gotten them out. So the swelling's gone down a little bit, but I'm still looking kind of like a chipmunk. Um, <clears throat> I'm also on pain meds still, so I'm a little out of it. And uh, I've been sleeping for four days straight. So I'm a little tired, I'm a little out of it, bear with me. So I thought it would be kind of fun today. Um, my boyfriend's actually on the way here and I'm getting ready to do my makeup. This is the first time I've done my makeup since I've gotten my wisdom teeth out. And I wanna see if I can like make my cheeks look snatched again, I don't know. Um, make them look a little less puffy. So I thought I would film it. I think it would be kind of, you know, funny. As you can see, I have a lot of bruising right here. Some of my teeth were impacted in my jaw, so that's why. Also, yes, I have a lot of acne scarring. You know, just, you know, don't even pay attention to that. I'm going to see a dermatologist soon, so we will get that addressed. Um, but today, I'm just wearing this cute little, like, button-down shirt from H&M. My necklace is from a local boutique. Um... I think that's all I've got on. My watch is from Olivia Burton. I got that for Christmas and just my everyday rings. So I guess we are going to go ahead and get started. Okay, so just put my hair up. And before I started like doing this now, before I start my makeup, I've been trying to put on like a lip gloss or a lipstick just to hydrate my lips a little bit. And I just got this one from, I don't know if you can see it, Winky Lux. And it's so cool because it's clear and on the inside it has a flower in it. And like when it hits your lips, it turns like a pink color. It's really pretty. And very hydrating. Okay, so got that done. See, it adds a little bit more color. Y'all, I feel like so out of it. Gosh. All right, so next up, what I'm going to do is I'm just using the Urban Decay Naked Skin Weightless Complete Coverage Concealer just to cover up all of my blemishes, which I do have quite a few of, unfortunately. But, like I said, I'm seeing a dermatologist in about a week, which I'm really excited about. I couldn't really see the bruising before, but look, like right here. Oh my gosh. I'm thinking about once I get um, my skin addressed, filming like a my acne story, my acne journey kind of thing. Because I'm really looking forward to seeing what the actual problem is. So my <clears throat> my left cheek has been the most swollen out of both of my cheeks. So during surgery. Um, I actually kind of woke up during it not all the way but I could definitely tell that like they were on this side and on uh, my bottom jaw and I think that was one of the teeth I actually had to like break because it was impacted in it um, so yeah I started like groaning to try and get their attention and I think they like heard me so I think that's why this side's a little bit puffier and that's why it bruised a lot more Okay, so it doesn't have to be like perfect or anything um, once you put the concealer over it because next I'm going to go in with my foundation. I just use um, the Too Faced Born This Way in shade Porcelain. I feel like this part's going to kind of hurt because like, yeah, it still hurts back here. Um, but yeah, so this is just going to go over the concealer and um, kind of mask those blemishes a little bit more. Yeah, that hurts a little bit. So I was like super anxious and super nervous about this whole like 
wisdom teeth process. No, I wasn't even nervous like about the surgery or anything. It was just the after part because I've seen, you know, like all those embarrassing videos like after someone gets their wisdom teeth out and I'm such a control freak and I was like, oh my God, please just like put duct tape over my mouth because I don't want to say anything stupid or say something I'm definitely not supposed to say out loud. But, um... I was actually really coherent afterward. The only part I was a little fuzzy about was um, getting transported to the car afterward. But after that, I actually like knew what was going on. Yeah, this is really starting to hurt my cheeks. I should probably do that a little, you know, a little softer. Still pretty tender. But yeah, the recovery part has been super obnoxious because all I've been doing is sleeping and like that's been one of the worst and one of the best parts honestly because I feel like I'm go go going all the time and I never get a chance to genuinely rest and lay in bed and take time for myself to do nothing which has been like amazing but like I wanted to go out and I haven't been able to go out yet so I think I'm well I'm hoping I can do that today maybe stop by the mall or something. It's been so unbelievably hard to chew as well. I'm having to chew everything like in the front of my mouth like like this. I look like a squirrel or something but I obviously can't chew in the back because I don't like mess up the stitches and everything. I'm actually filming this like on my mom's iPhone. I didn't bring Okay, yeah, I didn't address this either, so I'm on spring break. Got my wisdom teeth out over spring break. Oh my god, look at my cheeks. I can't smile that much either. <laughs> and I can't open my mouth. Yeah, that's as good as it's gonna get. So I'm on spring break. Great spring break, I know. Um, and I came back to my mom's house, so that's why the background's a little different. I like have my foundation and concealing routine down pat. So I've dealt with scarring and acne for so long, it's like, I know when to do what. I don't even know what I'm talking about anymore, like I'm so out of it, so just excuse me if I don't make sense. Let me know if you've ever gotten your wisdom teeth out or if you know someone that has and like tell me if there's like a funny little story with it. Like I said, I was pretty um, coherent afterward. I couldn't talk because my lips were numb, my tongue was numb, and like I had gauze stuffed in my mouth. So I'm like, uh, yeah, no, it wasn't good. It wasn't good. I honestly don't want to conceal anymore. Like I'm so over it and it's hurting my cheeks a lot. So finally, finally, I'm going to contour with my Anastasia Beverly Hills contour kit this is the part i've been waiting for i just want to be like cut crease oh wait that's your eye isn't it yeah, never mind don't pay attention to me okay that hurts oh my gosh oh i accidentally just dipped into that dark shade no we don't want that i'm gonna do my chin that's not my chin that's my jaw y'all i swear i oh that's looking a little dark Ooh. yeah I swear y'all just like sleeping so much and I've been on these painkillers like I don't know anything anymore next I'm going in with some blush by Tarte in the shade timeless I've also got just a cute little Tarte brush that I'm using with it oh, Madeline you have never looked better I swear and then next for um, powder, I'm just using the block. I'm just using the NYX blotting powder in the shade light medium. I'm trying guys, I'm trying so hard. This is like my favorite powder and I'm pretty sure they're discontinuing it um, from like retail stores. Because I went into Ulta the other day to grab it and they definitely didn't have a section for it anymore. And um, 
I found like the product, not my shade or anything, but the product in the clearance section. So my mom had to order it from like the actual NYX site, but it's so good because it like, I'm oily and this is a blotting powder. So it actually keeps me, you know, blotted all day. Um, and it's really good for me because it actually blurs like my blemishes and stuff. So you can't really see them or anything. I didn't bring any highlight with me home for spring break because I wasn't planning on, you know, like looking snatched in bed all day. Um, so I'm just going to use like a little bit that's in this contour kit from Anastasia. Put a little bit on my nose and a little bit on my lip. Should I put some on my cheek? Oh, why not? Probably didn't make a difference. So next is brows. I'm just going in with like this little spoolie brush from NYX that once had a product on the end of it, but don't use that anymore. I'm using a shade in here. You can probably see it's that one right there. Um, that's the shade I use for my eyebrows. I literally use an eyeshadow. It's not a big deal or anything. Um, I don't know if you'll be able to see me do this, but well, like maybe you will. My mirror is right here. That's why I'm looking over here. I look so chipmunky. <laughs> I'm so out of it. Oh my god. Y'all, I'm so excited to see my boyfriend. What time is it? Oh, he's going to be here in like 20 minutes. I'm so excited. I haven't seen him all week. Um, because we're long distance, unfortunately, but I don't know, it kind of makes our relationship a little more special when we do get to see each other. Um, but yeah, he's just been here for me like all week since I've got my surgery, since I had my surgery. Um, just being like so sweet and talking to me when he can and I'm really excited to see him. I'm pretty sure this is like a lip stick brush I don't know I take a little bit of concealer like from the pad and just run it underneath so it makes it more defined and on top feels so good to be filming again y'all I've truly thought about like Madeline you need to start filming like every day um I've just been so unbelievably busy, and I know that's, like, the excuse that everyone uses, but <sighs> college is hard, man. It's hard to prioritize everything on top of, you know, working and having a social life. Okay, so I'm about to do eyes. I'm just going to show you what shades I use, then I'm probably going to speed this up, and you can watch it um, while I insert the video of me, like, after my got out from getting my wisdom teeth removed. So first of all, all I do is I just take this base color right here, do it all over the lid. Then I take this shimmery color right here, define the brow and then put it in the inner corners to make me look a little more um, awake um, because Lord knows I've been sleeping for the past four days. And then I'm gonna use um, kind of this gold shimmer color right here for um, just the lid color and then I have a matte black, that's not black, a matte brown shade right here to just kind of do um, the corner and the crease with and I'll also do that um, underneath.
So those shades all came from the Naked Urban Decay Smoky Palette. I actually got this for Christmas, I think. I really like it. It's all um, super pigmented. Oh, this probably like comes across as like a cheapo product, but this is my eyeliner that I use from e.l.f. I've been using this since middle school and it is my favorite eyeliner. I've used like Urban Decay, um, probably Stila, all of that and this has still like been my tried and true liquid eyeliner so I'm just gonna do a wing really quick so on to mascara I'm kind of doing like two right now um so just for the base i'm doing the rimmel london scandalize um just to kind of set my lashes and then i'm going in with the l'oreal voluminous lash paradise um this is literally the most perfect mascara ever but the only problem with it is that it literally dries out in like two weeks or less so i'm trying to spare it while i can Look at, look at this cheek though. <laughs> oh, yikes. All right, so face and eyes are done. Next thing I'm gonna do is take this NYX lip liner pencil in the shade Neutral. Just line my lips. And then the lip I'm gonna be doing today is by Urban Decay. It's called the Vice Liquid Lipstick in the shade Trivial. It's very like moussey when it goes on and it dries um, like a liquid lip. Well, it is a liquid lip. I would I would hope it would dry like one. All right, ladies and gents. That completes my makeup look. My hair is not done. I still have to do that. So don't even like comment about how ratchet it looks because I know it does. Um, I don't think I look like that much of a chipmunk anymore maybe I should add more like contour like let's really get these cheekbones defined go big or go home what can I say all right y'all so this concludes my video today I hope you kind of like this sort of little story time also get ready with me kind of deal hope you learned a few new things um, definitely be looking out for some more videos coming up because I do want to get back into it as the summer approaches I'll have more time to do it so um, again leave a comment if you've ever gotten your wisdom teeth out or if you have you know a funny story to share at all uh, give this video a big thumbs up make sure to subscribe please it would mean the world to me so thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video